thanks for stopping by. I wanted to knock out another tutorial. I'm building these up because I sort of kind of need to develop the skills to to acquire tech literacy. In tech literacy, I'm, I'm actually referring to technological literacy because I, I read a, a pretty interesting paper and it said, of, I guess, about 38% of Americans are technologically illiterate. And that's a pretty scary statistic. What this tutorial is going to cover is the language of the Linux command line. And this is just the first. So this is essentially just the introduction to the Linux command line interface. And we're going to cover some things. So we're going to cover the components that we need. We're going to cover the materials that we need. We're going to cover the basic terms necessary to understand what we are doing and why they are relevant. This method looks super simple, looks real minimal, but I, I can pretty much guarantee you that this classical method of learning is a powerful tool for comprehension. So uh, thanks again for stopping in and let's go ahead and um, rock this out. Technological literacy, the what, the why, and the how of the Linux command line interface. Nice primer. This is just essentially just the introduction. The components that are, you're going to need to do the work on a computer are a computer with a keyboard, a computer with a working keyboard. That's very important. You're going to need a Linux operating system distribution. So in, um, in the notes or something like that, I'll, I'll, I'll post something so you can actually figure out where you can go and download download this. But, you know, these are, these are pretty, pretty simple to get. Um, there's tons of other tutorials out there that will even show you how to. But I'm going to put the download links in the show notes, right? And the most important thing that we're going to need, <laughs> this is the kung fu aspect of this tutorial, we're going to need time and patience to learn a new language because that's what we're doing. We're going to be learning a new language and our fingers are going to have to move in ways that, that um, <laughs> they're going to seem uh, not too familiar. So it should be pretty fun though. Terms to learn. So we're going to have to go over a couple terms. We're going to have to go over the shell. What is a shell? Right? So first we're going to define what a shell is. Right? So we all understand a shell is essentially just the outer covering of something, anything. You know, you can have a shell of a car, the shell of your clothes, the shell of your body, blah, 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 whatever. So the shell, now if you have a shell in Unix, or not Unix, I'm sorry, I'm brain farting, right? So we're going to have a shell in Linux, right? And the shell is just nothing but a program that takes commands and passes them to the operating system so it can do the work. That's all the shell is, right? So when you think about the shell, you just think about it, it's just nothing but software. It's just nothing but a program. We have to interact with this shell and this interaction is what we call the terminal. This is the cool things that you see whenever you'd watch any of those old school hacker movies or even the new school hacker movies and you see this really cool screen. It's black or it could be gray or something like that and somebody's just putting these these little commands in their keyboard and all of a sudden magic happens on the keyboard. So this is basically the graphical user interface that allows us to interact with the shell. And that's what we're going to we're going to be working with, right? So the shell, you need the shell and the emulator. The emulator is just nothing but the terminal. That's the the GUI or the graphical user interface that we deal with when we want to make stuff happen. How do we access the shell? Sorry if you hear this little click in the background because I have um <clears throat> my little uh, presentation on my computer and I'm reading it right now as we go because this is just how my brain functions. So now let's go back to, um, let's get back on track. So how can we access the shell? All we have to simply do is just type in control alt T and boom, the terminal will open. Or you can just hop on your desktop and then you can just um, find it in the menu. In menu. <laughs> and you can just go to the desktop in the drop down menu, you're gonna be able to see or find access to the little terminal. Just open that up and then you're going to get access to the shell. Now we're going to go ahead and do some work. And this is the, the point of the tutorial, what I would like to call LBD or learn by doing, because the only way that we can actually understand what it is that we're doing <laughs> is by doing the work. And this is just merely muscle memory that we're going to start interacting. So just go ahead and um, hit control alt T and boom, you're going to go ahead and open up a new terminal. This terminal is going to, going to engage and you're going to see some some words on there and they're going to look funny and you're going to see a username and an at symbol and then it's going to let you know what computer you're on and this is all stuff that you're going to become familiar with because I'm becoming familiar with it as I'm doing more and more interactions with the, the terminal. So let's just go ahead and um, type in some random random keys and then hit enter. Yeah, you, you're going to get a, a 
a warning that pops up that says command not found. So this is just a prompt from the shell that lets us um, know that that's not a command in there. So now let's go ahead and enter some simple command. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a date command. We're going to do a cal command. We're going to do a df, which means for disk, disk free space or the free space on the disk, right? And then we're going to do um, free, right? So first let's go ahead and do the date. Once you hit date, hit enter, and then you're going to see the date to pop up. Cool. All right. Next, we're going to go ahead and we're going to type in cal. Cal is just short for calendar. All right. So you just start to see that these, these, these commands are, are just basically abbreviated versions of words that we're already familiar with, but it just allows the computer, because it's software that's running, um, to interact or it allows the computer to understand them. So cal is just short for calendar. And then all of a sudden you're going to see the date or not the date, but you're going to see the calendar pop up on your on your terminal. So now this is where um, we're going to have a little bit of uh, um, eyes glossing over for, for a hot second because when we hit the DF command and hit enter, you're going to see numbers because this is going to let you know all the free space that's left on your disk drive. Right. And then this is something you can just start looking at so you can sort of kind of familiarize yourself with with the, the, the jargon or the words or, or the way that things are structured in the command line. Now, if we can go ahead and uh, type in clear, hit enter, and the screen is just going to go back to, to initial prompt, right? Next, we're going to type in free and then hit enter. Then you're going to see you're going to see the free, right? So these are just some simple commands that we can type in and play with just to sort of kind of get used to our fingers moving, moving around the, um, the command line. So first one we would hit would be date. Type in date, hit enter, and you're going to see something. Next one. We can type in cal, hit enter, and we're going to see something. df, enter, and then we're going to see something. And then type in free, enter, and then we're going to see something. So those are just some simple commands that we can play with just so we understand how to navigate through the terminal. The, the terminal has a, a memory. It remembers at least the last 500 commands. That's the default setting. I guess as we progress through this, through this tutorial, which is going to take a while because these are just going to be short snippets. Right, but as we progress through this tutorial, we're gonna see like, oh, this is gonna be pretty handy, just going up, up arrow key, up, 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 just so we can see what our last commands were. And then if you see what that last command was and you can hit enter, it's gonna recycle it and then, and, then, and then activate or initiate that command that you want, right? So you can go up or the down arrow key, right? And these are gonna allow you to, to, to navigate in the, in the terminal with the commands, right? Another important thing that you're going to want to uh, remember is how to copy and paste in the shell. So say if you're, you're browsing online and you see and you see a command or if you see if you see some script that you might want to copy and paste, you can actually copy and paste it. But you have to do the copy and pasting with your mouse. So you can't do the keyboard um, control X or you can't use the keyboard shortcuts because those are different functions within the terminal. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to use the mouse, highlight it, right click it and then copy and paste old school but that's 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 pretty much it so thanks for tuning in that was a quick tutorial a uh, quick intro of the what the why and the how and then you did some learn by doing so then we had a little bit of uh challenges that i guess we had to do with the uh, linux terminal thanks again for stopping in and uh hope to see you soon yeah if you have any comments or anything like that just go ahead and leave them in the bottom i'm sort of kind of new to this but i'm having a fun time doing it thanks again